Okay, this is kind of, it looks like a general solution question because we're going to have sine 2x equals cos x plus 60. They wanted to let f equals g, but there's a big trick here, and it's a cofunction trick. You see, the sine of 2x is really the cosine of 90 minus 2x, and that's how we get started. The cosine of 90 minus 2x equals the cosine of x plus 60. And the only way these two things can be equal is if 90 minus 2x equals the x, x plus 60 degrees. And that would repeat itself, that solution would repeat itself every 360 degrees. And if the plus of x plus 60 works, then the minus of it must work. Then we just sort of um, clean it up and put the x's on one side and, and uh, subtract 90 degrees from both sides. So look at this. We minus x we, from minus 2x, we get minus 3x. We minus 90 from 60, we get minus 30. Then we divide everything by negative 3, and we get x equals 10 degrees. 30 divided by negative 3, neg and that's it. 360 divided by um, 3 is 120, and this k you can just leave as plus because it's you're putting in negative and positive integers. And let's take a look at the other one. Minus x, we add x to minus 2x, we get minus x. We minus 90 from minus, minus 60, we get minus 150. Divide by negative 1, there's your kind of general solutions. Now how many of them fit between minus 90 and 90 degrees? Well, the 150, if I add 360 or take away, that doesn't fit in there. And if I add 120 or take away 120, it doesn't fit. The only one that's going to work is 10 degrees. And that's your answer. In fact, when you go to sketch the graph, you'll see where they cross each other, and they only cross once. They cross at 10 degrees.